Tomorrow is the final day for public comment on a controversial mine that's being proposed for the UP. That mine would be next to the Menominee River, the river that forms the border between Wisconsin and Michigan. Local 5 Steve Dent looks into sulfide mining and the possible impact on both states. The birthplace of the Menominee tribe began at the mouth of the Menominee River. We have to keep it clean. So the tribe walked 40 miles to the site of the Back 40 mine that would be located within 150 feet of the Menominee River. We are going to work hard to defeat this great attack. But the tribe doesn't stand alone, as evident from the turnout in Stevenson back in October. This mine is out of balance. But there were people who showed up to support the mine and the economic impact that comes with it. Menominee County needs this little push. Sulfide mines have a track record of polluting the environment, and this mine would plunge 750 feet into the ground. That's more than three times the distance from the ground to the top of the scoreboard. This mine would also be twice the size of the entire complex at Lambeau Field. Sulfide mixes with air and water. It can generate a dilute uh, sulfuric acid. Aquila Resources needs that process to extract minerals like gold, copper, zinc, and silver. And we're going to require them to put in a very uh, sophisticated water treatment plant, and they're going to have to manage their waste on lined facilities similar to like a landfill. Joe Maki admits there's always an environmental risk that comes with mining. And the question now is, is that risk worth polluting the Menominee River that flows into Lake Michigan? Keeping it local in the UP, Steve Dent, Local 5 News. Thank you, Steve. Although it's Michigan's decision, Wisconsin residents are affected and can submit their comments. The final day for comment is tomorrow. You can find more information on our website, wearegreenbay.com.